way too young to go through menopause. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, I'm giving you a big hug. My name is Julia, nice to meet you. I hope you're having a good day so far. If you're watching this, you might be a upcoming new mommy or daddy, first time parent like Jesse and I were, or maybe you're having another baby and you're just like, gosh, I wanna see what other people bought for their babies. But either way, comment down below if you are gonna be a first time mommy or daddy, and when you're due, I want to tell you congratulations. Oh, and if you know if you're having a boy or a girl, comment that too. And if you know the name, comment that too. I like hearing people's baby names. So basically, I'm going to be telling you guys items that we use the most from zero to three months. At the time of filming this, Penelope did just turn four months, which her four month update should be up. I'll leave it. I think it's going to be up here. And per usual, any videos I mention, or if you see any videos pop up in the rectangle bar up here, I'll also leave them down below in the description box too. But yeah, so I think what I want to do is start making videos of products that I think you should get from like zero to three months. Maybe I'll do three to six months and then maybe I'll do like six months to a year. I don't know. Hit that thumbs up button if you guys like that idea. Being a first time mom, it was so overwhelming. Like what do I put on a registry? What are we actually going to need to buy? What do you actually need type thing? And what's on my list might be different from yours. If there's something that you found was really useful for your zero to three month baby that I didn't mention, again, please comment down below. That way you can help other people too. But yeah, these are things that we just happen to use or find really helpful for Penelope. And I'm gonna break it down. Let's see, we'll do, I'll do like miscellaneous things first, then we'll do fashion items, then we'll do nursing supplies if you plan on nursing or are nursing, then we'll do toys, and then we'll do kind of like big objects. I will try to link everything I'm talking about if I can find it down below, and yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that I feel like any parent needs are some good swaddles or swaddle blankets. So one thing we got a lot of is just kind of little blankets or quilts and knit blankets which are great we do use those to kind of lay her on a lot but one thing I did not realize that I would need the most of is these like kind of thinner muslin muslin I think is what they're called blankets swaddling is so difficult to get the hang of I felt like at least Jesse like got it down super fast but I was like ugh. and one of the problems I had issues is because we were using just kind of thicker blankets. But for me, I found that these thinner, I don't know if you guys can see how thin they are, but these thinner muslin swaddle blankets make it so easy. The baby stays in the swaddle, like they kind of just sticks wrapped up, if that makes any sense. Think of it like if you're making a burrito, it's so much easier to roll the burrito nice and tight with a thinner tortilla than a thicker tortilla. So yeah, you need thinner tortillas. And this actually came in a two pack. One of our Thea's actually got these for us and brought it to the hospital. And I was like, oh my gosh, these were my favorite ones. So I'll see if I can link the exact pack below. It did come in a two pack and the other one was kind of white with swirlies on it. I don't know, I'm a big fan of neutral stuff. So you'll see that as a reoccurring theme. Even though I have a baby girl, I like more neutral stuff so it's perfect if you have a boy too but yeah I'll try to find these exact ones linked down below if not I'll find different patterns maybe in the same brand because yeah this was just my favorite brand of swaddle blankets I think they're called here we go Lulu Joe Lulu Joe baby yeah so the next thing that you're gonna need a lot of that I wish we had put more of on our registry are burp cloths. Whether you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding, your baby's gonna spit up a little bit, especially when you burp them. These are really nice to kind of put over your shoulder if you like to burp them this way, or if you burp them sitting down, kind of have it in your hand like this, burp them this way. Either way, you're gonna need burp cloths. For some reason I thought like, oh, one or two will be fine, but they get stinky and we would only use the same birth cloth, birth cloth, burp cloth, maybe for one or two days. Cause like I said, they get stinky, but these were my favorite ones. They're the Burt's Bees ones. I don't know. I just like these kind of simple OG burp cloths. They're thick, but they're still like a nice soft material. Burt's Bees Babies just has the cutest things. So you're gonna need some of these. 
another thing that I just I would have never thought of thank God my mom bought them and thank God my mom remembered but these changing liners so whether you have a changing table or if you plan on just changing them wherever you're gonna want some of these because yeah maybe I'll just pop a picture up right here sorry if it's TMI but if you're gonna have a baby or you have had babies that's what having babies are but yeah that happens an awful lot wherever I put the picture and these are just really nice they're kind of softer on one side but then they're like you know I guess liquid proof on the other side and it's so much easier to just throw this in the wash rather than if they poop all over the changing table you have to take off the whole pad put on a new pad or if you're changing their diaper on the couch or something it doesn't get on your couch so yeah I totally recommend getting some of these babies my mom usually does watch most of my videos so mom these were genius Another thing that we've really liked is the Honest Company Diaper Rash Cream. And I have a bunch of Desitin and people have been using Desitin for years. I'm sure it's just as good. But I kind of wanted something that contains organic ingredients, not tested on animals. Honest Company just tends to have a little bit cleaner, gentler things in their products, which I really liked. And this actually works really well. She really hasn't had too much issues with kind of diaper rash, but she has gotten it like when I change diaper brands or change diaper wipes, which we'll talk about diapers next. But I would put this on maybe one or two times and it would clear it up. It worked really well. It's gentle. Jessica Alba I think is actually the founder of The Honest Company and I know she started this company because she had kids and because she did not want to put all kinds of chemicals on her kids so yeah my favorite diaper ash cream and you're gonna need some. <laughs> Since we're talking about diapers obviously every parent will tell you you're gonna need diapers but my favorite diapers have actually been I have two favorites so my first favorite is by the brand Diaper. I talked about these and I think it was a baby clothing haul video, which I'll link that playlist down below, but I'll link the specific video up here if you want to know a little more. But basically, it's a diaper delivery company, and the diapers are made with bamboo, so they're really nice if your baby has sensitive skin. And yeah, I just feel like the idea of a diaper delivery service is genius. So yeah, these are really nice, really comfy. They contain her blowouts. My second favorite diapers were actually Pampers. For some reason, they just contain the blowouts way better they didn't give her rashes we had a bunch of Huggies diapers from baby showers so we were trying to use those up and every time I switched to Huggies she would start getting a little rash which I don't know before I had a baby I thought oh Huggies is the most popular I maybe because it's the best but in my experience Huggies was not the best diaper so yeah I liked the diaper. I also liked the Honest Company diapers too. Those weren't bad. They have cute designs, but my top two are diaper diapers. I'll link this down below for you. And I won't link Pampers because you can just buy those anywhere. But yeah, those are my two favorites. Comment down below, seasoned parents, what your favorite diapers were. So the next thing I thought was very useful when she was a newborn is a thermometer. Now this one was really handy because it's one of the ones where um, you just touch it to the forehead. And let's see, I'll... 96.8 it's kind of weird I always have like a low temperature body temperature my normal body temperature has always been kind of low but anyways this was super super helpful especially I totally recommend if this is gonna be your first baby because I don't know if you're anything like me I was so anxious I was always anytime she'd be extra fussy anytime she was crying and I couldn't figure out the reason I'm like maybe she has a fever maybe she's sick and I was always worried about her getting sick or getting a fever I don't know why now I'm not so much worried now that I've like gotten the hang of things, but we were checking her temperature all the time and just keeping an eye on it. And it just kind of gave us peace of mind that she was okay. Now she did get up to like 99.8 sometimes, which before we left the hospital, she did have like a 99 point something. And the nurse had told me, you know, if it's 99, 100, watch it. But if it gets over 100, that's when you should kind of call your doctor. So that was really good information. And this was a really good thing to have. 
Another thing I totally recommend to you guys is a baby carrier of some sort. Now the one we've been using is by the brand Evenflow and my aunt actually got it for us and it was really affordable. I put it on my registry because it was affordable. I want to say it was like 30 bucks. I don't remember. I'll link it down below but for a baby carrier that's super affordable because they can get up to like $300, $400. Like baby carriers get crazy and this came in such handy you guys. She's still likes it one thing I was terrified to take her to the grocery store I don't know why but wearing her just made me feel so much more comfortable out in public with her now she doesn't mind her car seat so much but still I will still throw her in this sometimes because it's just easier and we did have a Moby wrap one of those you know wraps and I just had such a hard time figuring out how to do it and I was always worried like oh my gosh is this secure enough like I would still never take my hands off her because I was just scared she was gonna fall through it, I don't know. I just was not as comfortable with that one as I was this carrier. And there were points where we couldn't get her to nap and she would only nap in this thing. And it makes it so easy, especially when they're newborns and they just wanna be close to you. But I mean, you do, you might have to get dishes done or do some laundry or cook dinner. So this is gonna be a lifesaver. And like I said, this specific one, I really like. She still fits in it, it still works. So yeah, definitely get a baby carrier. So now let's get into some fashion items, like clothing wise. The first thing I totally recommend are these Cloud Island onesies. I buy them at Target and I've honestly bought in the same exact pack for every stage. Like these are newborns. I bought a pack in the zero to three months and now she's in the three to six months because I don't know, again, I just like very simple basics. I'm a basic kind of girl. And these are so cute. They come with white, gray, black, and then it came with like a kind of teal stripe. So I feel like it would work if you have a boy or a girl. And I just love this style. It's just so cute. It's like a little wrap t-shirt, but it's a onesie and it's like a little v-neck. They're just so cute. They're so soft. Just onesies in general, guys, is what you're gonna need the most. So if you're still building your baby register, I know I put a bunch of cute little outfits and dresses and stuff and I got a bunch of cute little outfits and dresses but honestly I only put her in a cute outfit if we're going to like an event or something and even then I'll still just dress her I'll show you guys what I'll dress her in I'm gonna mention some other things but onesies just at least in my experience she just lives in onesies the next thing I suggest you guys getting are some like footy pajamas like this again she lived in onesies or at nighttime she lived in these footy pajamas I loved this one I'll try to find it this is by the brand called La Maze but Burt's Bees has some really cute onesies if I can't find this one I'll link maybe some cute Burt's Bees onesie pajamas but especially if you're gonna be having a baby during like a colder month or if it's cold where you live your baby might live in these instead of onesies like for the first three months sometimes I wouldn't even change her out of her pajamas I would just dress her in this at night let her wake up in it and she would just wear this for the day and then I just put a new one on that night for bed so yeah luckily a lot of people got us these I think one of our cousins actually got this for us and I was like oh my god it's so cute but yeah onesies and footy pajamas are pretty much all you're gonna need when they're newborns Another thing I think is so cute and I don't know, it's simple, cute, practical, and stylish at the same time are these little, they're like socks, but they're like leggings, tights. I don't even know what you would call these. I got these on Amazon. These were really cheap too. And oh, I forgot to say like these onesies from Target, I think it's 10 bucks for all four onesies, so cheap. But yeah, these were cheap as well. I got on Amazon and it's too hot for her to wear them now, but she might still fit in these when it starts getting cold again. Cause they're kind of like a one size. Yeah, so like a cute outfit. I think in her, I wanna say in her two month picture, I'll post it somewhere here, but this is the outfit I put her in. I put her in this plain gray onesie with the little tights underneath and a pink bow and she looked adorable. Again, it's comfy. One thing that that I feel like are useless when they're newborns are socks because they just fall off. Still to this day, she's four months and she still can't keep socks on. And then you're just losing them and then you're constantly having to buy more. 
So yeah, these are just super helpful because you know they're not gonna come off. Their little feet stay nice and warm and covered, but it's still stylish. You could even put these on for a boy too. And I think the pack came with gray, white, and black, which is all you need. Like you can make a bajillion outfits with gray, white, and black. Another option that I've been putting her in a lot, especially now that it's summer, are these cute little bloomers. This came in a pack of three, I think. So it came with this nice neutral khaki color, this pretty mustard yellow. I love dressing her in this color. And then I think it came in black. I don't know where the black ones are. But again, an outfit I put her in all the time was just a plain white tee onesie and with, with these little bloomers and a matching yellow bow. I'll show you guys my favorite bows in a minute. But yeah, it's a really cute, comfy outfit, but it's super stylish too. Like your baby looks like, I don't know, you can dress your baby like a mini me, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm a big fan of doing that. But yeah, I love these little bloomers. Again, Amazon, so cheap, so affordable. Love the material, nice, light, and cool and comfy. So now we'll talk about bows. I had such a hard time finding bows that were small enough for her head. I tried a couple different ones from Amazon. I bought a couple at like TJ Maxx and stores and stuff and they were huge. They wouldn't stay on her head. These ones are perfect. They fit her right when she was a little baby and they still fit her now because they're just, they're stretchy and they're just comfy. It came in a pack with this really pretty mustard color, this muted pink, white, and this kind of denim blue color. Honestly, these are all the colors you'll need pretty much. And they were pretty cheap for all of them, I think too. I got them on Amazon, but I love this style of bow. The other ones I put her in are these ones. I think I mentioned these in a video before, but these I got on Amazon as well. These are like a, like a nylon, like a stocking material kind of. So again, they're small enough to where they'll fit a little baby, but as your baby gets bigger, it will stretch and still like fit snug, but it's comfortable. She doesn't mind these and she doesn't mind these either. I think this came in a pack with gray, the army green, navy blue, and like a light pastel yellow or something, but these are the bows I put her in all the time and I love them. So now let's talk about some items that are good if you plan on nursing. If you don't plan on nursing your baby, I will um, link a timestamp somewhere here for you to skip to and if you want to get onto the toys and the bigger items but i'm still nursing her and one thing i highly 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 recommend is getting a haka which i'll post a picture of what it looks like somewhere up here but basically they call it a manual breast pump but you don't have to do anything basically how it works is let's say your baby's eating on this booby you attach it to the opposite booby all you do is squeeze it and it suctions and stays on your boob and it just <gasps> I'm in front of a window and there's a cat on my neighbor's roof. <sighs> sorry squirrel syndrome but it just collects the fallout milk which you would think ah it's not enough but seriously guys I would get two to four ounces just from one boob not having to do anything I'm someone I had such a hard time with electric breast pumps normal breast pumps I don't know comment down below do you guys want me to make a video just on breastfeeding and if so comment some questions you have or what you would want me to talk about but yeah, if I get like five comments or more that say, yeah, make a breastfeeding video, I'll go ahead and do that for you guys if you want me to go more into detail. But yeah, I had a really hard time with electronic breast pumps, but the Haka, I could get milk for days with that. And it was so easy. It didn't hurt either. The electric breast pump hurt my nipples for so long. Now I'm to the point where it's like, I have no feeling in my nipples. Like you could flick it and I'll be like, oh, did a fly land on my nipple? <laughs> Which brings me to my next product. The first couple weeks especially are brutal with breastfeeding. It does hurt pretty bad. And it gets to the point where you're like, when they're hungry, you're like, oh gosh, it hurts so bad. But I recommend getting some lanolin cream. I liked the Lansino brand. They have a couple different brands, but I liked this one because it's safe for mom and baby, 100% natural and hypoallergenic. But basically what I would do is after I would feed her, I would put some of this on my nipples and you don't have to wipe it off, which is nice about this one. It's okay if the baby ingests some of it, they'll be fine. So I would just put it on after I'd feed her blah, 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 after I would feed her and then just leave it and then you know a couple hours go by feed her again put some more on this just helped so much get through those first couple weeks and I even use this gosh probably like the first month so I totally recommend this cream it helped me get through breastfeeding so much 
Another thing I recommend, I won't bring mine out because it's kind of big. Well, not huge, but I'll put a picture of one up here. And if you like this one, this is the one I'll link down below. But I recommend a boppy, which is like a, a nursing pillow. So I know this is a preference thing. Some moms love them, some moms hate them. I loved it, especially if your baby's little. It just elevates them. You just put it around your waist. You can lay the baby down. It helps you kind of hold the baby. So that way you don't have to get a bunch of pillows or you don't have to hold them the whole time. Time. it was just so convenient for me I still use it sometimes she's more into like sitting up now but even if you're not breastfeeding actually it's really good for uh, tummy time Penelope hated being flat for tummy time so we would put her over the boppy and she would tolerate it a little bit more with that or you can put them in and make it like a seat and have it prop them up kind of if that makes any sense or worst case scenario you'll use it for yourself jesse uses it all the time when he lays on the couch so yeah i totally recommend getting one of those also try to get one that the cover is removable i'll the one i linked down below i'll make sure it has a removable cover because that's how ours is i'll try to find ours it's actually really cute it's like gray with on one side with stars on the other but yeah she's pooped on it a bajillion times and it's so easy you just remove the cover wash it and then yeah so the last thing for nursing I recommend are nursing bras now there are two that I love first being this one if you guys saw my what's in my hospital bag video I'll link that up here and down below if you want to watch that but I mentioned these and these are awesome you guys I got these on Amazon they were pretty cheap for nursing bras and it came with I think three or four I don't remember I just got a pack of all black ones, which I recommend getting all black. That's what was useful for me. But they had some like nude colored ones and white ones too, if you like that better. But these, they feel like a sports bra. Like it's comfortable like a sports bra, but it still made your boobs look good. Like it pushes them up. Not too much to where it's uncomfortable, but I don't know. Like I said, it's comfy, but it still makes your boobs look good. And you just, ugh, these things are like the biggest genius invention ever. You just, buffet. You're all done? Close up the buffet. The other one is one I'm wearing right now. I'm not gonna show you too much, but it's basically just like a nude. It looks like a regular, it kind of reminds me of the t-shirt bras from Victoria's Secret or the light push-up ones. I like the ones from Pink that have like the hardly any padding, but like they're still a push-up bra and they're still cupped that makes sense but this one I got on Amazon and I love it it's a nursing bra but it's still like makes your boobs look like you're wearing a Victoria's Secret bra so I'll link those totally recommend both of these next let's talk about some toys so honestly from zero to three months she did not use that many toys there were two in particular that she loved one of them being this little guy this is actually I think from the brand Cloud Island if I can find it, I'll link it, but <laughs> its name is Eunuch, <laughs> Eunuch the Unicorn. I know that's going to be real fun when she gets older and says, it's my unicorn Eunuch, but she loves this thing. One thing she really likes to do is um, to when she's tired or wants to sleep, she pulls blankets over her face, which freaks me out. And I had also read an article somewhere saying that um, if you don't want to use pacifiers, get them a little stuffed animal or something little like this to where they can snuggle it, they'll become familiar with it, and they can use this to kind of help them fall asleep rather than a pacifier. I don't know. Penelope just likes this. She likes holding on to it. She likes putting this over her face, which it's little and small enough to where, you know, she's not going to get it all caught up and suffocate. She likes chewing on this. She likes holding on to it. She will talk to it. She gets kind of feisty with it. Like she'll yell at it and then she'll suck on the horn. She just, she loves her eunuch. I've seen these in like little elephants too, if you're having a boy or I don't know, but Penelope particularly really likes this. Another toy she's loved since she was a newborn, really weird, is this elephant toy. Again, I've talked about this one before in previous videos too, but my cousin Bailey actually sent this for her and she's obsessed with it, you guys. It has two little modes. It has a play mode Hello, baby. where it talks. And it plays peekaboo. Hmm. Where'd you go? Peekaboo. I found so cute. You. Penelope's favorite is the singing mode. Hello, baby. Let's sing together. She loves this thing. Do 
Okay, that's enough. We don't want to get copyrighted. She was fascinated with this when she was a newborn. And then as she got older, two months, she still was fascinated with this. Still to this day, she loves this toy. <coughs> Jeez, sorry. But yeah, so this would be like the main toy I would recommend. So now real quick, we'll talk about some bigger items. One thing she was slash still is obsessed with is a baby swing. I'll post a picture here and then I'll link it down below for you guys, but it's kind of a nice, I liked neutral looking things. And this one, the seat vibrates and then it also swings and it plays music. She loves all three, the combo of all three. That's the one and only thing she's been able to nap in. Still, she's four months old and she still loves napping in it. So yeah, I totally recommend it. I know some people are like, oh, don't put your baby in swing, but she still sleeps just fine in her bed at night, which I'll go on to the next one. I recommend getting a pack and play that has a raised level personally i wouldn't bother with the bassinet because they outgrow it so fast but the pack and play they can use forever so since she was a newborn that's what we put by our bed is the pack and play and it just has a raised level again the one we got i love it it's pretty it's neutral and it has that raised level and then when she gets older we can drop it and just use it as a normal pack and play so yeah if you're kind of on a budget or you don't have a big enough house to have like a bassinet and a pack and play and all this just get the pack and play because a bassinet once they grow out of it you can't really use it you got to find a place to store it and you're done with it <laughs> Another thing I recommend is getting a bouncer. Again, one of my aunts got us this and we didn't put this on the registry. For some reason, I was like, oh, well, if she has a swing, she doesn't need a bouncer, it's fine. I tried to be really minimalistic with stuff, but she bought it for us and was like, you're gonna need one of these. So I'll link the one that we use. It's so helpful, guys, if you just have to do things. Like, I keep it in the bathroom a lot, especially once Jesse went back to work. If you're still having to change your wound stuff, if you got stitches and stuff like that, you need your, both your hands when you're going to the bathroom. Stick it in the bathroom, you can put your baby in there, they can watch you while you're doing your thing, or I move it to the kitchen when I'm cooking sometimes, she likes sitting in that thing. Thing. it's just a nice seat you can put them in when they can't sit up really easy to move around it doesn't need to be plugged into anything it's just probably one of the most versatile things we have for her and the last thing I personally love is a diaper genie it's funny so when we were first pregnant I don't remember who it was somebody told us don't even bother getting a diaper genie you won't even use it it's stupid and so we didn't put it on the registry. And then towards the end, someone, someone else, I forgot, someone who we trusted a little more was like, no, you definitely should get a diaper genie. Like they're really helpful. So then at the last minute, Jesse's mom bought one for us. It's such a lifesaver, you guys. You can stock up the diapers in there and the ro her room does not stink at all. And we have dogs too. So I feel like if I were to just use a regular open trash can the dogs would get in there eat her poop it would smell i do have to change it about once a day but honestly it's so easy the way it's set up is like you load the bags in there and it's just you pull it you tie it off and then when it gets full there's a little thing that cuts the bag and then you just keep tying knots and pulling it i don't know if that makes any sense i'll link the one we have down below because i i just love it it's so helpful and it's pretty small too it doesn't take up too much room so this video is probably super long. I'm done blabbing to you guys. Hopefully this was really helpful to you guys. Again, comment down below if there's anything that you found helpful that I missed to help other people. If you've gotten to the end of this video and are not yet part of my YouTube family, subscribe. I'd love to have you. I do other videos too, like I'll do fashion videos. I do monthly updates with her. I'll do beauty videos. I have paranormal story times. So yeah, if you like any or all of those things, you would like my channel. Thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your day and I'll catch you in my next video. I'm gonna go blot my face now, I'm all sweaty.